Hello, to download FSR3 mod and many other cool things, please visit my YouTube channel. Click more. You will see the link to TeleChanel. All my files will be placed there. Joy channel. Free FS are three mods and more are located here. Hi everybody, Lossless Scaling V2.11 released. Test with me to see how it works, is buy for mode good? And how many native FPS must be sacrificed when using buy for mode? That will be made clear in this video. First test the tearing issue. I will limit FPS equals one half monitor refresh rate, then use buy to mode. with default sync mode. Lossless worked, FPS was doubled. Looks like the tearing issue is still the same as the previous version. Try with VSync on. With VSync on, they're still tearing, but it seems a little less. It seems that after editing the video, the tearing problem is not obvious. If you have a monitor with 90 Hz or more, turning on VSync may seem very useful. Now I will try with a lot tearing on and unlimited FPS. X to mode works fine. The game is very smooth reaching 8x FPS from lossless scaling. Quick test with by 3 mode, then cunt X for mode, what everyone is waiting for. X3 mode works well. My feeling is that it is smoother than by 2 mode. Okay, now coming to buy for mode. Tail little attention to native FPS. I'm reaching about 48 native FPS before using lossless. And after using buy for mode, native FPS is only 36. With this game, I lost 12 FPS after using buy for mode, about 25%. And the FPS has been X4, from 36 to 14 by FPS.
The game is very smooth, almost no latency. My assessment is that buy from mode works well, but only suitable for those using 120Hz monitor or higher. With VSYNCON, the tearing problem will be slightly reduced. Also note that you will lose a lot of native FPS on X4, about 25%. Now testing with Cyberpunk 2077. Currently I am reaching 50 to native FPS. In this test I only care about buy from mode. Let's scale. Now I only have 32 native FPS. With this game, I lost 20 native FPS when using buy for mode. Around 38%, it lost more than the GTA 5 test. The game is quite smooth, but the loss of native FPS is too much. Not sure if it's due to motion blur or some other problem, I feel like there's a bit of a visual problem not tearing. I need to lower graphics settings to increase native FPS. With this game, I lost up to 38% native FPS when using by 4 mode. Looks like I'll need to hit around 60 native FPS to use by 4. But when it comes to 60 native FPS, Using by 2 mo or X3 mo is probably the more optimal solution for most people. It can be seen that surrounding objects had many problems when moving the camera at fast speeds. Try limiting it to 30 FPS and using by for mode. The game is smooth, but visual issues need attention. Now comes the God of War. I'm getting around 67 native FPS. Try with buy for mode allow tearing on. From 67 native FPS, I'm down to 42 native. Lost 25 FPS, about With this game, by for mode does quite well, the game is smooth, and doesn't have many visual problems, just tearing. Well, why would a fire troll burn mother's garden? 
garden. And since when are drawers so close to the house? Try limiting FPS to 30. And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. With 30 native FPS, there is an input lag problem. For me, the game has an input lag problem when it only reaches 30 FPS, even without using lossless scaling. Everything is fine when reaching about 40 native FPS. Summarize by for mode will lose a lot of native FPS, from 25% to 38%, this can affect latency and visual. This means that if you use X for mode, you need to reach about 50 to 60 native FPS for X for mode to operate stably. But in that case, using X2 or X3 is a better solution for most people. So maybe buy for mode is only suitable for a few people. What I hope most is that they will fix the tearing problem in the future. Thanks for watching.